Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bahrain Now. With me, your host, Bara Abdullah. We've got a great show coming up featuring great local talents, initiatives, and happenings from around the kingdom. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, the Youth Pioneer Society is continuing with its financial awareness program titled Dinari, which aims to enhance the financial awareness among the Bahraini youth, develop their financial skills, and equip them with the financial knowledge to enable them in organizing and managing their future financial affairs. To speak more about this, we have here with us board member of the Youth Pioneer Society and head of the program's committee, Ms. Shahad Azaki. How are you? Hi, Bob. Well, uh, how are you? Very I nice am. to be here oh, with you today. Thank you for having me. Definitely. This was long, long coming. Yes. It's like Shah is going to be here definitely yes. one day <laughs> and talking about Dinari. I love the name. Dinari. Yes, thank you so much. Honestly. We love the name as well. It Tell us more about Dinari, yes. So basically Dinari, like you said, it's a financial awareness program. What happened is 2019, we conducted a survey just to test the financial knowledge with young people, with youth mm. in general. And we discovered that we lack a lot of knowledge. Mm. Due to the way we're raised, we're always given a pocket money, or yeah. even we start our first job, it's just the salary and we have to cover our expenses. Right. But we don't know what does it mean to have a personal budget, or to save, or what is the right percentage to save, or even if you saved, what can you invest in? Right. So it turned to be like the awareness in general is very weak. That's why we came up with the concept of Dinari, Amazing. which is a one month program. Um, it's a bit intense. Every week mm. they go through two to three workshops and they get to learn everything about financial basics, personal budgeting, how to save, how to invest, and even financial crimes that they should be aware about really? and that they can protect themselves. I love that. Yeah. I mean, okay, I'm not young <laughs> no, you are. but can, can I join? <laughs> of course. So basically the program is, uh, this current version is for youth. This year okay. we're launching three different versions, two different age groups. The first one is for youth and that's mm. for between the age of 21 to 39 and then we have one for the younger age, school students. Okay. And we have a third one coming up is specialized for women actually. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're absolutely right and I think we need this more than ever as there are a lot of opportunities, yes. but at the same time, like as you said earlier, we've been through such a linear mindset of how we deal with money. Like yes. you said, it's either from pocket money to <laughs> right? Definitely, and then your mom saves it for you. <laughs> your mom saves it to you, which we never saw it. Exactly. <laughs> you know? It's like, we're gonna save it for you. I'm yeah. like, what happened? It's a lifelong investment. <laughs> a lifelong <laughs> investment. And now as you get a salary, we don't know what to do with the money. And yeah. we end up the first thing we think of when it comes to savings or even having more money is take a loan. Yes. So it's just a cycle over and over and over again. Exactly. But this approach is phenomenal. It's Thank brilliant. You. We love that. Thank, Thank you for you. doing it. Thank you. So now we have many programs. Now it's for youth. So how do you work with the youth right now? What happens there? So we have a lot of plans this year actually. Okay. We took a break for two years during COVID mm. and now we're officially back. So okay. we have a year packed. So like I told you, Dinari is going to have three different versions. Now mm. it's only the first one. We're okay. going to have two more for the students and women. We're actually launching a program about the SDGs. We're raising oh. awareness about the SDGs. Right. And we're trying to create solutions. We're trying to make the youth come up with creative ideas to solve these um, SDG goals for Bahrain. Right. We have another program specialized for content creation. Really? We're planning to graduate the next leaders of content creators as it's a growing industry. And you know it's a career right now. It is. So we'd like to give them the basics, the foundation for the right, let's say, and purpose of uh, content creation. Wow. Um, another thing, one of our old programs that we've done for five times, we're bringing it back. Mm. And I would say this is one of our biggest program, mm. which is the Young uh, Parliamentarian Program. Interesting. It's not political, but it's yeah. actually a leadership program. But it's a very intensive leadership program. They go uh, throughout nine months uh, training in leadership. And yeah, time. they actually used to travel and visit the parliament um, in the UK and learn from them, learn how to publicly speak, how to negotiate in that level, which is we believe the next generation of youth, they really need to be prepared, yes. especially if some of them plan to take such uh, positions. They need to know how to speak right, how to prepare themselves. So these are basically all the programs that we're going to have this wow, year. Wow, super excited. Thank this, you. Like, 
you're pretty busy. Yes, yes, we <laughs> are. Every two months we have a new project coming out. It's amazing, but it's yeah. super exciting, right? Yes, pretty much it it's is. like there's something always going on, even with the obstacles and challenges, but you keep going, going, going. It's a very big year for us because mm. we're actually celebrating our 10th anniversary. 10th, congratulations. Yeah, we're very proud that throughout the 10 years, we've impacted more than 5,000 participants in wow. our programs. Wow. So we're planning to celebrate it really big this year. Amazing, amazing. Now we're going to go back to Dinari. Now, evaluation. How do you yes. evaluate the awareness for the young people coming in? So, in general, it's very important for us in Youth Pioneer Society that when we do programs, we right. have to measure the impact. Right. Like, if you're not measuring impact, you don't have KPIs, then you wouldn't know if your program is working and if it should be repeated or not. Mm. So, we usually what we do is we conduct a test, a knowledge test. Okay. And that's what all the current participants went through on day one. And then right. at the end, um, on their graduation day, once they finish the one month training, they're going to go through that knowledge test again and we're going to measure their impact. Amazing. I mean, I have, a, I have a feeling that if I had your program earlier, I would be driving at least maybe a Lamborghini and not a Nissan Sunny, but it's still a good car. <laughs> yes, yes. But if you heard about it younger, when you hear the word financial awareness, it's a bit heavy. Right. And you'd feel like, I don't want to learn about it which is why throughout the program at the end, instead of giving them like a session or a workshop, uh, we're giving them a hands-on game that is extracted from Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Oh, the oh famous, Kawasaki, uh, no yes, way. The famous financial book that teaches you all the foundation that you need. So the game is interactive, it can be extremely fun, okay. but it's also very challenging. It's going to also test your knowledge if you learned everything throughout the program, because it's a situational game. So sometimes you have to take decisions to invest, to sell something, to buy something. Uh, so it's very interesting. We just thought wow. young people, financial awareness might be heavy for them. Right. So you need to gamify it as well. Ga I love the word, to gamify the yes. system. I love that. I mean, and it's a very smart way to go about with things for nowadays. So now as they come in, you see the program, how from your own personal perspective, how do you see the youth right now and how they are handling their money, what's going on? I mean, is the word investment something that's pretty much, they understand it, they know that it's important for them, or they're just gonna wait for it for like when they get older? How do you see the youth right now with their financials? Yeah, to be honest, when we conducted that survey for youth, it turned out to be not very strong. It turned mm. out to be weak, which is like I said, we were not raised or we did not even have a subject in school or university right. True. to teach us about that. True. So it's pretty basic. I would say, yes, they do have access to the internet and there's a lot of accounts that are trying to simplify the financial knowledge and raise mm. awareness about that, mm. but still they need to know a lot. So yeah, I would say they, they need more training and that's the whole purpose of Dinari. I love that, I love that. As, as you pretty much open the eyes to a lot of people and especially the young ones right yes. now, that there is a lot to do with your money. Your money can actually work for you, yeah. you can do something about it, you can invest in stocks or now the trend, crypto yeah. and all that or going on. NFTs. And, uh, Yes. See, there's a lot right yes. now. Yeah, yes. there's a lot yes. to do. And all that's being introduced in your program as well, as I mentioned. So we are going to talk about, let's say, the latest trends that's happening into investment, and we're going to give them some basics about it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, if, if you're going to do another program for people like, eh, let me <laughs> sure know. Thing, sure I thing. would love to come in yeah. and just understand how we should deal with money. Because exactly. as you said, now, for a lot of Bahrainis, right, as they go, earn a salary mm. and then it's just that amount of money they get for that amount of hours they work yeah. and that's the only mindset they have and so linear to some yes. point is that you still have time to go and invest in something else and that money you have you can actually take a part of that and invest it in other stuff whether it's stocks and your business you want to go and invest in an online business yeah. or do some freelance work whatever it is online that kind of stuff but for whatever reason even though all the opportunities are out there online and offline you just need some guidance like Dinati. Yes, yes. Love that. We don't have the knowledge. Like I'm in the 30s, so I'm not that young. So, I, but <laughs> I still at this me. age, I get, I get scared of the whole term of credit card because I don't have a background, I don't have a knowledge in it. So imagine if like 10 years ago, I learned the difference between debit card and credit card and try to avoid having any loan. It would have been amazing. So glad to be at least in the organizing team to grasp all the information possible. If, if there is a way, which is definitely Dinari is the way for yeah. it, to tell the youth there is more than just a loan and a credit card yeah. to save your lives. We're talking about years of their lives. It's going to yeah. be that set gone because they decided for a few seconds, I'm going to take a loan. Yeah, and you can invest in yourself. Like you might not need your parents' support for a master's degree. 
if you manage to invest it right. Can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Bold it with, with, you know, more yeah. like dramatic voice. You yeah. do not need your parents' support to you get your master's. You don't, you don't. You're more than capable. You do have an income or you do have a pocket money. If you just learn financial budgeting, if you learn to do that breakdown, to have that schedule, obviously you'll save up. You might end up realizing that you spend like 100 BD on coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Which is possible for some people. <laughs> so, and then you realize, you know what, let me just do my coffee at home and save that money. Uh, or yeah. 200 BD on coins th and tokens that should not be mentioned on TV right now. See, exactly. <laughs> if Oli Dinari came across <laughs> me earlier, yeah, exactly. I would have I not put that money into Yeah, we that. all needed it, yeah. <laughs> I totally understand Definitely. that. Shad, this is so exciting. I, I mean, I mean, it's, it's just exciting times ahead, and you know, of course, with your society, there's a lot going on. And what I love that you have your own R and D going on. You do your yeah. own research. Yes. It's like yes, you mix with what's needed and the hype and the trend. But the fact is, you took your time to read, yeah. to understand, and out of that, you developed the program yeah. itself. Yeah, yeah. We actually also create an advisory board for every single program of knowledgeable people. They're experts in that industry. They have a lot of experience or they've done program like this before, mm. just to make sure that the learning path we're providing is at a quality. Like honestly, Dinari, for The Last Virgin and This Virgin, I would definitely thank the amazing speakers and trainers uh, we get. Mm. Like This Virgin, we have names like Khad Lamadi, Stad oh, Araf wow. Khalifa. Uh, we have Nurhan Adhan representing our strategic partner, which amazing. is the IBF, amazing. an amazing entity for this background and we have Hamida Froten which is in the last version she was one of the participants and now she became an expert and a trainer and now she's delivering the program to this batch loving everything I'm hearing here I'm sure even the viewers are just super excited about this as much as I am Thank now you. if you're gonna give us like an advice right now to the youth and how they can reach you what should we do so first of all, if you'd like to reach Dinari, uh, there is our account on Instagram, Dinari BH, mm. and you can reach out to the society, which is at Youth Pioneer Society. We could answer all your questions over there in our Instagram account. Uh, the other thing that I would really like to say for youth, Please. Um, I'd like to talk more about the volunteering aspect, which okay. is Youth Pioneer Society, mm. Society. Great. I personally invested more than 10 years of my life in volunteering. Mm. And I always get asked, why? Why are you doing it? It's a good question. To be honest, um, every single network that benefited me throughout the years, every opportunity I got was because of volunteering. So it does open a lot of doors for you. It wow. makes you discover yourself. It makes you empower yourself. It makes you gain all the soft skills that they're not taught at university and they're what's actually needed in the market right now. So it's the plus that you need in your CV. So I definitely encourage anyone, and please don't tell me we don't have time because it's all about time management. I studied engineering and I did full-time volunteering. Wow. So it's definitely possible. It's just about how you manage your time. I would just say invest your time in the right thing. And joining a society uh, like Youth Pioneers or any other society would be amazing uh, to just equip you for the future and give you a lot of opportunities. And our doors are actually always right. open for anyone who would like to join the society. Brilliant. Thank you. This is amazing. I mean, you just said it yourself. The fact is, there is a mindset, and I'm not saying everybody here, where they said, well, I'm not paid for this? Yeah. I'm not paid for this? Why would I waste my time? But the thing is, as a human being, you are there to invest in yourself, right? So yes, time, your time could be your yeah. money, that's true. But at the same time, you're missing on the opportunity to network, like you said, yeah. to pretty much add more skills that maybe that alone should be paid for. Exactly. And the impact. <laughs> And the the impact. impact is truly amazing. Honestly, when I see the graduate of every single program, it's always a proud moment to see the change that you could do to others that are to your age. So that's amazing. pretty amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, you're amazing. Your team thank is amazing. You. Thank I you appreciate so that. much. Thank you. Well, Shahad, thank you so much for making sure that we are in good hands. And uh, I need that program. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. <laughs> promise you will do definitely. a virgin for definitely. that. Definitely. Thank you, Barat, for having oh, me. It was really definitely. a great pleasure. It's all ours as well. Well, thank you so much for joining us right here on Bahrain now. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your financial future could actually be with Dinari. All that took place in an interview with Shahad right here on Bahrain now.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a fashionable segment as we're diving into the world of fashion. Our next guest has it all together as she's going to implement our new ideas into the fashion world with beautiful perspectives and give us a little bit more about the fashion world with her own experience. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us Umayma Sayed. How are you? Hello, Bara. How are you? I am really excited Thank for this Thank you for talk. having me. Definitely, most My definitely. Pleasure. Oh, it is all ours okay. as well. Thank you. So, Umayma, tell us more about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Umayma Sayed. I'm a fashion designer. I'm the founder and owner of O Design. It's a Bahraini fashion brand uh, since 2007. Uh, it's uh, specialized in wedding gowns and party dresses. Wedding gowns yeah. and party dresses, very important. And uh, I'm the vice president of the BIBS, which is Bahrain Intellectual Property Society, mm. which has just established two weeks ago. And wow. uh, this is, yeah, uh, at the beginning of 2022. Congratulations, well. Thank you very much. Congratulations for that. But a new year, this a new start. This is the first announcement, by the way. <laughs> well, <laughs> you came in very strong, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's like, whoa, that's only the start. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now what's going to happen next? <laughs> well, yeah. proud of this, really. And, yes, and we are. As we saw your designs as well, they are very majestic. Thank you very much. Very beautiful, very expressive. And it's like watching, uh, seeing a painting at some yeah, point. It's yeah, like right. you see all the waves. You see how you put things together with the colors. I mean, as a guy, I'm like, I'm like just looking at this beauty <laughs> right now. It's just beautiful work. Thank you. Tell us more about your journey in the fashion world. Well, to tell you the truth, uh, I studied something very far uh, away from fashion. I mm. studied business information system, actually. BIS. Yeah, wow. the BIS, uh, which is far away. Uh, but the, I was passionate with fashion since uh, the childhood. Okay. Uh, since I graduated from the university, I started to open my own business. Mm. Then uh, I thought, uh, if I like this field, I will go with it. Okay. And with the years, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, I experienced many uh, things and uh, success in the fashion mm. field. But uh, as they say, with the experience, you need some education. Right. I said, why uh, don't I study fashion? Mm. Then I started to uh, study fashion. Okay. And Alhamdulillah, I got uh, two degrees in fashion. Really? Where yeah. from? Fashion uh, aspects and design. Wow. Yeah, wow. from the Royal University of Women and Amazing. from Bahrain Fashion Incubator. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And then that uh, actually boosted me uh, a lot in the uh, fashion market and uh, I gained more and more skills and knowledge in the fashion industry. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. Like, you know, when you get to hear that people have to study this yeah and it's not something just oh i'm just passionate i'm gonna go on do do a sketch of a dress and it's gonna be there tailored and all of that mm. there is like a whole chain yeah uh, of different actually processes. talent is a main factor but you need to uh, support this talent with the studying with right. experience with working and you see a huge difference, right, between like sure. when you have the talent and then when you solidify that talent through actual knowledge and education and science, right, right. you see a different outcome altogether. Yeah, especially when I studied about uh, how technology is very important in the fashion industry, you know? Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, nowadays, everything uh, goes with technology. Uh, so mm. I started to, see, uh, to study how much fashion is important to accelerate the fashion process. Mm. So I started to come up with uh, some solutions that will help me uh, to solve some problems okay. that I'm facing in, the, uh, in my business, for example, or in the fashion business. And I came up with the idea, it's a new idea, let's say it's an innovative idea, which is a mobile application that you can take your uh, self-accurate measurement by yourself. Interesting. Yeah. Wow, with the phone itself, we have an application and then you can take your own measurements, you can yeah. send that to the tailor or send to a to company. That will save time, effort and money for customers and you will be able to convert your measurement with the international size chart. You will be able to transfer it into English and Arabic, any language okay. you want. Okay. Uh, it will be like a device uh, or application where you can track your body measurement on a daily basis or monthly basis, it's up to you. <laughs> uh, that wow. was very interested and uh, that actually uh, led me to participate in a competition which is yeah which is the Olympic competition in Tunisia amazing yeah and alhamdulillah I won the first award with my friend congratulations thank you very much 
uh, so fashion led me to IP. That Olympics was uh, IP Olympics, okay. Olympics that uh, incre uh, encourage people to uh, go into the IP uh, field, which is intellectual property. Right. When you think about it, you say, what comes, what fashion brings it to the uh, IP? Well, it is actually a very good yeah. question. What All does majors bring in it? life are related, actually. To all IPs? Yes, to IP. All majors Intellectual in properties yeah. all the way. Yeah. Okay, please elaborate mm. with the fashion design. Yes, uh, so uh, from this Olympics, uh, I think, why I don't uh, gain more information and knowledge about IP? Then I studied intellectual property. Wow. Yeah, and I'm proud to be the first woman in Bahrain to get the certificate from the World Int Intellectual Property in uh, Geneva. Uh, that was an honor for me. And uh, after that, I'm talking about my achievement now. Is it? Uh yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the thing is, all of that it just sounds like a beautiful intro to the achievements you actually, actually yes. achieved. I mean, the fact is, from fashion design applications and going to IPs, IPs, earning a degree in IP in Geneva, which is an amazing yeah, step altogether, yeah, and nice. then comes all together with the achievements. Let, let's, yeah. hear more, let's hear more about that. Yeah, uh, after that, uh, I was very interested with the IP. Then I decided to go for the next uh, edition of uh, the Olympics. Mm. And I participated this time with uh, a Bahraini team. We okay. called ourselves uh, Fikra. Fikra, all Yes, right. uh, the idea team. And we are proud that we uh, brought the first award uh, for the second time to Bahrain. Wow. Uh, that was amazing because uh, the competitors were, were from all over the world. Mm. And Bahrain was the first for amazing. the second time. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. You see, I cannot say that I had a lot of talks with fashion designers in that aspect before. Like most of the times, it was just very normal and it's beautiful to talk about yeah. the fashion, this what inspires and the passion behind it. But in your case right now, we're seeing like a totally different aspect yeah. of the fashion world. Yeah. Technology, IPs, business, yeah. systems, right. science. Mm -hmm. So it just, there's a lot going on uh, behind the scenes that yeah, people just true. don't understand. For that wedding gown itself, it's not as like a sketch on a pencil. It is a lot going, it's an entire team that wants to give that beautiful moment to the you know to the wedding itself right. so wow but uh, it's all about objectives and goals when you set your objectives and goals you just go for it you uh, work hard to uh, to make it comes true you know uh, i set some goals and alhamdulillah uh, one of my goals wa uh, was to establish a society in bahrain for ip hmm. And alhamdulillah, we just announced it as I yes, told you. Yes, a strong announcement. With my uh, colleague uh, Asma al Najdi, she was a mm. very uh, talented uh, person uh, which helped me a lot during the journey. We were together in all this journey. So we hope from this society to uh, encourage people, people in Bahrain and to spread awareness uh, uh, toward the IP. Amazing, amazing. Mm. Mm. Wow, well, shout out to your team <laughs> and Thank every you. member for establishing the society itself for the IPs because we do need it. Yeah, yeah. The awareness, Actually. the understanding of intellectual property is very important in today's right. world, especially as we're going more digital. And you know, it's more about your thoughts, fikra itself, yes. and the ideas that you establish. And we need protection, yes, awareness. We need to protect. uh, especially when you are. Uh, putting your objective and uh, you want to uh, make it comes true and you work very hard for your idea right then someone else just take it in the, s in the second yeah so you need to protect your right and this is our goal in the society to uh, spread awareness uh, toward the ip amazing you know if we can go back to fashion world yeah. i would love that but this is all amazing because people need to hear this yeah. now if i would put some words and if I would ask you in simple words, what do you describe your fashion design as? Is it, wh where do you see yourself mostly? Is it wedding gowns mostly, party dresses? And how do you get inspired with all these designs? Actually, Bara, when I started my uh, business from the first time, I thought I would uh, make a Bahraini uh, brand with a high standard that can compete uh, an international brand in the future. This is my goal. 
and uh, I'm aiming to uh, to do that. I'm going mm. to go internationally, inshallah. You will. Inshallah. You will. It's inshallah. not about if, it's about when. At this point, definitely. Inshallah, With that kind soon. of mindset and eyepiece and all of that, how can you not go international? Inshallah, very soon. Inshallah, 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 definitely. Inshallah. I'm sure I'm going to learn something right now here when I ask you any last words to your viewers that you want to add yes. to all of this. As I told you, life is all about learning. So we must learn. I'm learning from every major in my life, the majors that I'm interested in, the majors that I love. So anyone uh, has the talent and uh, see himself interested in some point or some major, uh, put some objectives and try very hard to go to achieve these option, uh, objectives. And uh, believe me, the taste of success is very great yeah. at the end. Yeah, the taste of success, the taste of achievements, it's it, that dopamine rush all the way to your brain. It's yeah, like you just you forget can't. all the uh, tiredness and everything. And it's a pretty addictive one, right? It's right. like you want to have more and more right. of it. Right. And yeah. I can tell you've been pretty much addicted to success. Yeah. Wow. And gaining more knowledge every time. I, I want to gain knowledge in every aspect uh, in life, every major. Why not? Why not? Yeah. That is a good mm. one. Why not? Mm -hmm. Well, Amayma, thank you so thank much you for, for such an eye opening of a talk. Thank you. Very inspirational, very exciting, and we can definitely see you going to international grounds. Just don't forget about this interview. It's like one day he had an interview <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even yeah, going to be yeah. way high up there in France, in Japan, in, in other Shala, places I in the world. So. I and so. I think we are super lucky to actually get a hold of you right now before you go international. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank definitely. you. Thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure having you right here on Bahrain Thank you. Thank you very much, Barak. Well, ladies and gentlemen, who would have thought, right? Fashion with science, technology, and IPs, all that took place in an interview with Umayme right here on Bahrain Now. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed that episode as much as I did. Don't forget to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below and stay tuned for more happenings right here on Bahrain Now. I'm Baraha Abdullah. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless.